each seal being broken is one step closer to God's wrath being poured out fully onto the earth. I believe that we are actually about halfway through the seals of Revelation right now, meaning we're about halfway to the judgment that's going to fall. The scripture says that Jesus Christ will return on clouds of glory and that he will be riding a white horse. So everybody has always suspected that the first seal breaking where it says white horse rider is the Antichrist, capital A, Antichrist. I believe that the white horse rider could just be simply a false messiah. Not the false messiah, but a false messiah. Someone who thinks that they are Jesus-like. That they can save it. That they can change it. That they can somehow stop the wheels that are in, in motion. Then you have similarities between the white horse rider and the Greek god Apollo, which is considered to be a demonic being. Why do I believe that this is referring to Donald Trump? Trump's last name literally stands for trumpeter or trumpet blast, which is what scripture calls a judgment of God. This is literally, in his very name, a warning that God's judgment is coming. He compared himself to Jesus several times. The white horse rider would be a false messiah. He would be somebody who thinks that he is similar to Jesus. I dreamed of his election and the VP pick that he made way in advance. The top three floors of Trump Tower is built to resemble the Greek god Apollo's temple. Marble floors, marble and gold pillars, gold furniture. On the roof of it is a huge mural painted of Apollo riding on chariots with white horses. He has statues of Apollo around his penthouse. So here's the connection to Apollo and the connection to a Messiah complex. I'm not saying he is the Antichrist. I'm saying he is a Antichrist. White Horse Rider, I think, means a false Messiah, but not necessarily the Antichrist or claiming to even be Jesus himself. It's a globally recognized false hope. you got to understand all of these horsemen or something that happens globally. It's not, it, it's something that happens to the entire world. That's why it is such bold symbolism. Though he seems powerful, he has no true power. It's all talk and very little real substance to even back it up. His weapon is useless because he has a bow, but no arrows. Crowns in tradition were not given. They were either taken by conquest or handed down through the bloodlines. This says he was given a crown. That means he was elected. He went out conquering and to conquer. It means he had some success initially. And never gave up the fight. But I just got to point out that uh, the rider on the white horse isn't directly mentioned except for the very beginning of the seals that kick off the judgment okay he's not mentioned again so in summary what am I saying the rider on the white horse is a false messiah he is globally recognized he has no actual power to fight his enemies with he's an elected politician to a national and global leadership position even without having the support of a military backing him the proper way he still manages to defeat some of his enemies and he never gives up the quest to win but ultimately he's his only divine purpose is to kickstart the rest of the judgment events whether he knows that to be the case or not <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.
second seal of Revelation, the red horse, is COVID, China, and the World Health Organization. First, China's national color is red. COVID was created by the Chinese at Wuhan Labs under the premise that it would be a useful bioweapon. Lockdowns, the illness, national tensions, suicide rates, and murders, all of it has skyrocketed. Crime has skyrocketed ever since cre uh, the creation of COVID. <sighs> World nations, 122 to be exact in total, made an agreement with the World Health Organization that in the event of any type of global health emergency situation, they will all turn their sovereignty over to the World Health Organization, which will dictate the global response effort. Any nation that fails to comply with the instructions will be locked out of trade agreements with all the other participating nations, which means you either do as they dictate or they are going to all agree together to collapse your economy. This is forcing you to follow their instructions. It's a fail-safe they put in, just in case somebody like Trump happens to get back in. The World Health Organization's biggest financial donor, guess who it is? The World Health Organization's biggest financial donor, guess who it is? China. So, what am I saying to summarize? China's national color is red. They was allowed by the United States to create a bioweapon called COVID-19. COVID-19 caused the peace of Earth to be removed. Crime, murder, illness, lockdown, slow collapse of world economic systems, tensions between major world nations, Russia, China, America, all at an all-time high. I would say that's the removal of peace from the earth, wouldn't you? China practically owns the World Health Organization, which was now uh, granted power over the whole world of at least 122 nations in the event of some type of public health emergency. China is the red horse rider. It is the origin of all of these global problems. And it has removed peace from the earth. The great sword that it's given is COVID and the World Health Organization. We are on the third seal as we speak. Why do I say that? Wheat and all kinds of wheat and food will be in short supply. It's global famine, which is exactly what we got going right now. There will be riots and wars fought over food. It'll be declared a global health emergency of famine. The World Health Org will assume power over the 122 nations that I was just telling you about and begin rationing out all of our food. It will be enforced by a military of each nation and a new digital world economy is going to be instituted to try to bring stability back to the equation. So why am I saying all that? Black Horse Rider. The Black Horse Rider is global famine. An economic collapse that brings about a new world economy to fix the issue of unfair 
supply rationing. was given to them over a fourth of the earth to kill with sword, hunger, death, and the beasts of the earth. The beasts of the earth. Why is that important? Because it's a misunderstood symbology. Everybody thinks that means more animal attacks. It doesn't mean more animal attacks. The beasts of the earth, using the Bible to translate itself, always means authority figures. The beast of Babylon was Nebuchadnezzar. The beasts in Revelation from the sea and from the earth itself is the world economic system and the world religious system. So when it says the beasts of the earth in that verse, it is meaning world government, world religion. It's talking a new world order. It is not talking about animal attacks. The Christian faithful worldwide will refuse to go along with this new economic system. And as a result, just as it is in China, Christians will become the enemy of the state. They will be hunted down. Many will be forced out of economy and they will starve to death. They'll be denied medical care and food by the new world government that's going to take over in the midst of this emergency. False Christians will be allowed to, or they'll be told that if they take the mark, they're going to be allowed to participate in politically correct version of Christianity. This is one that allows and encourages LGBTQ involvement and won't be allowed to say the name of Jesus Christ specifically as being the only true way. This is when fathers are going to turn against sons and sons against fathers and daughters against their mothers, as the Bible said. And the true believer's enemy will be the members of his own household.